Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to show you how you can format a Gantt chart, how you can change the data type, how you can create a default shape with different data types. So on the screen, I have a simple Gantt chart where I have the ability to add a row. If I add a row, it will snap into the current chart and then I've got the actual Gantt part where I can just snap that into the end there in the date bit and it populates like any other insertion that you would do. The difference being is that when I click onto this shape, it has only got a few fields in shape data because I've edited it. Now, if I go back onto the default one, when you bring in the default Gantt chart, I'll let it have five. I'll click OK. We'll just load that up. If I click on one of these icons, all of this appears. And obviously, I can edit this. I can right click and go into data and then define shape data and get rid of it. But I'd have to do that for all of the bars that are in this Gantt chart, which is time consuming. So, what I've done. If I just delete this, select that. I'll just delete everything actually, so there's nothing on here. What I did was I basically, you've got the different icons here. Look, you've got a task bar. If I pull that onto the screen, comes up with all of these. I basically went into it, so I right clicked and went to data define shape data and I basically just deleted the ones that I want but I also put it in a specific order so name I want that to be the first thing start date second end date third duration fourth and then percentage complete fifth now coming down I could do resources as well, six. I'll just keep resources in this one, six. Now, all of this other stuff, for whatever reason, I don't want. So you've got actual duration, actual start, and all of these. So I'm just going to click on these and delete them. Coming down, actual, don't want it. They're all good project terms. You've got some default user ones you can create there. Uh, use the defined time, no. Use the defined duration, no. Text field, these are just text fields. Like Microsoft Project, you get lots of extra fields that you can customize. I don't want to customize any of these, so I'll just get rid of them all. So now I've just got the ones I want. Task ID is at the end. Um, what's that percentage complete? Okay, let's just go for that. Click OK. And then you just get them in the order that you basically said there. I left the notes on. Now I'm going to fill, I'm not going to fill any of that in. I'm going to add that to my stencil, which I've called Gantt. And I've already got one, but I'll, I'll just have to rename this Gantt one or something. You click on that, call it Gantt one. Now the and then save that. The way this would work is if I bring a normal Gantt chart on. So just bring that on. So I get the structure. I just let it have five. In fact, I'll just knock that down to two actually. Two. It creates the Gantt chart. There we go. So you can just pull these off. And I'll just left with that one. Now if I pull that one off, I'm left with none. So if I go to mine and pull on a row. That snaps into position, but it hasn't got any bars. So if I pull this one that I've customized into this area, it will just snap into position. So now I can just do that, keep repeating that, and then pull that into there, etc. etc. And I'll do one more, just knock it in, and then put that on there. So I've now customized all the shapes because they've just got the exact same information in the same order 
And if I want that top one to be, I will pull another one in. So I've got three. If I want that top one to be indented, I can still do that as well. So the way you would do that is you click on the second one down, hold your shift key down, click on the third one and then the fourth one. So all of these are selected. Go up to the Gantt chart tab and indent. And they all become part of this top one. So the top one would be a review. And if I change the durations, I put two, two days there, three days there, five days there, or four days there. You see how that's expanding. If I click on them again, hold my shift key down one at a time. I can also link them using the chain link, link, and that will extend them even more. Now, if I add a column, if I go back up into the default shapes, and add a column you can add columns into this so if I put column there comes up with the option percentage complete I'll leave that one in there and I won't touch the top one because that's now an overarching one but I'll just start putting some figures in the bottom three and you can see how that works there so the top one is now clocking up the percentage complete for this project so if I click on that one it's saying 29% and if I click on each one of these down the bottom there whatever percentage I've done there it's saying that there and if you want you can add other columns so maybe you want resources there so if I drop the arrow down you can pick from this list so you've got resource name okay now there's no names on that but if I click on one of these I can type resource name in there I'll just put Bob for that one so Bob should appear when I click off that in there if I click into this I can put Bill and then Ben so you can basically do it any way you like like so and then I'll just probably rename this project so it's got like a proper title project overview like so and then the tasks it says new task you can just leave them as you wish so you've got quite a lot of information that you can fill in the percentage complete is there if you actually click on the line you can actually do lead and lag so I've clicked on the line you've got lag zero days there but if I put three day see what happens there three day lag on this one I click on that one and put a minus number in there so minus two that's a two day lead time you can see it coming back on itself there if I move across a little bit probably got too many fields in there now so that's all I want to cover on this little video how you can customize your Gantt chart bars just customize it once and then have all the bars with the same information in rather than doing it on multiple bars so hopefully that's of use I'll thank you for your time I'll catch you on the next one